So what's good, y'all? We back with another video. And I've been thinking about doing this video for quite a while now. And this is about the whole Cam Reddish situation in New York. Obviously, Reddish got traded to the Knicks back in January. I made a video talking about the whole situation when it happened. And I was very excited because I thought this is a good trade by the Knicks. You know, to get a player in here that has some potential. Didn't really get to show off his true potential in Atlanta with, with DeAndre Hunter being there. And, you know, with him dealing with injury as well. But I thought, okay, you know, he gets to the Knicks. Maybe he could get in the rotation, especially with the Knicks trading a protected first round pick. I thought he would definitely get into some type of role with the team. But as we all know, as the season went along, Cam Reddish never really got a true role on this team. He started to get a little more minutes in February, March, because the Knicks were looking more and more like they were out of the playoff picture. So obviously he started to play a little bit more. Then he hurt his shoulder. And we never saw him again for the rest of the year. So now the thing is, heading into training camp for this upcoming season, what's going to be his role? Now, me personally, I think he's not going to play. I do not think Cam Reddish is going to be in the next rotation to start the season because the wing spots are kind of filled out right now. You got RJ Barrett, who's going to start. He's going to get major minutes. You got Quentin Grimes, who I think is going to get a big boost in minutes. He might even start at the two this season for New York. And then Evan Fournier is still on the roster and still a very capable, good, solid player for this Knicks team in a better suited bench role for this upcoming Knicks roster. So it's like, where does Cam Reddish really fit in? Because obviously you can't put him at a backup too because Emmanuel quickly plays that position as well. So it's like, what's going to happen? And the reason I'm making this video is because Cam Reddish deserves an opportunity in New York. I think the Knicks need to make an effort to get rid of, like, Evan Fournier. Because Evan Fournier doesn't really serve a good purpose for this team. Yes, he's a good little leader for the locker room. We've seen this time and time again throughout last season. We saw it in the, the Euro Basket tournament, how he was leading the French team. Good guy in the locker room. We get that. But Cam Reddish has skills that we can develop here, that we all see. And when he was playing in Atlanta before he got traded to New York, the stretch before he got traded and before he had got hurt, he was putting up some solid numbers. There was a stretch where he was averaging 18 points per game starting for the Atlanta Hawks. So he definitely has something that he can provide for this Knicks team. And even in the minutes that he played in New York, he was doing a lot of things I liked. He was playing defense pretty well for a guy that they say is not a good defender. He showed that he can play defense at six foot nine with that wingspan. He was doing an exceptional job getting in the passing lanes, causing havoc on that end, getting a few steals. We saw, you know, he did a pretty good job offensively. The efficiency wasn't too great, but it's hard to get into a rhythm in limited minutes. But I think that'll go up as time goes on. But what I just like was the eye test. When I watched him play, he was easily the most athletic besides Obi Toppin and like Jericho Sims where they got that vertical athleticism. Cam Reddish is like smooth. Like he's easily the most smooth player on the Knicks and it's not even close. And that's no disrespect to Derrick Rose or like Emmanuel Quickly and those guys like that. But Cam Reddish got a smooth game. Sometimes he's so smooth to the point where it looks like he's not even really trying and that's another cause of like backlash on him. People get on him for that, but it's just, you know, that's how he plays. And I think he can contribute on this Knicks team and be a guy, even if he comes off the bench, he can give you 12, 13, 14 points per game. Decent efficiency. I would like to see it go up a little bit. And I think he can give you pretty solid defense. And, you know, the wings are an important position in the NBA nowadays. And I say this time and time again. And when you got a guy like RJ Barrett, who looks like he can become a star for this franchise, Cam Reddish could play a vital role because he is still extremely young. They came out in the same draft class. They got chemistry. If Cam Reddish can become a just above average starter, he doesn't have to be like an all-star or a superstar, but if he's an above average starter, that's a win for the Knicks in this trade. But you'll never know if you're going to have Evan Fournier and all these guys getting in the way. 
and he never gets a true chance to show what he's really made of on this Knicks team. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Just wanted to get my thoughts and opinions on the situation because it's really been bothering me that Cameron has not been getting a real chance on the Knicks. Partly because of Tom Thibodeau, just how strict he is and what he wants and how much he loves playing veteran players. And I get there's going to be somebody in the comments saying, how does he only play vets if, you know, quickly is playing all these guys? No, we know we know what we're talking about here. When Julius Randle's playing 35 minutes a night and Obi Toppin's playing like eight, that's that's crazy. So Tom Thibodeau got his problems, and we've known this for years now, even back in Chicago, loves to play those guys heavy minutes. So I would just love to see Cam Reddish play. The front office brought him in here for a reason. He can be a key piece of this young core if given the right chance. And I think this season is a good chance for him to show, especially with him going into free agency after this season. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Link will be down in the description below. This has been a checkup where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.